My name is JP Walker, I'm 33 years old and I'm a professional snowboarder. We work for it, he doesn't. It was pretty shocking, like the first couple times people saw like how gnarly that kid was and how much he was going for it. Mentally, I mean, obviously he's like hard as iron, so it's like breaking that is just tough. I can see him going on and forever. In the mid-1990s, a new snowboard company called Forum set out to assemble the best team the sport had ever seen. Our goal was to have the best riders in the world. We heard about this kid, J.P. Walker, out of Salt Lake. Peter and Mac Dog, myself and J.P. went out one day and saw the talent that was there. They saw what we knew and, uh, you know, they jumped right on it and, and threw J.P. in the Forum. I think the Forum guys all fed off each other just because I think basically they just all had like a desire to progress snowboarding. Everyone was kind of like pushing each other on all fronts. It was crazy to see how how hard everyone took it on for sure. We were kind of just sitting like well, when's the when's the hype gonna end? One year it was just like dude whatever happened to JP and then all of a sudden like boom Simple Pleasures hits and it's just like oh. Walker's annual film segments were soon among the most heavily anticipated in all of snowboarding. I felt like I was hitting it with it, taking it, taking it like one step further, like I remember my part for True Life, I decided to have no uh, park handrail footage. That was like, kind of like a big statement I made, like this is how it's gotta be. He would just do it until he got everything perfect, and he would push himself really hard. The consequences on a lot of the, the drop-off rails and and big kink stuff that they did was, it was heavy. Over the course of 15 movies, Walker is credited with developing more than 30 tricks. But as his legend grew, Forum struggled. In 2007, Walker parted ways with the company. It was harsh politics and it was things said that shouldn't be said. It was one of the great legends of snowboarding being dealt with like he was just some kid off the street. I wasn't expecting to separate from those guys, but then when the moment came up, it was like, it's separating it became like the only decision. It couldn't last forever. Walker soon found a home on the new brand Stepchild Snowboards and began work on Mac Dog's landmark film, Double Decade. But his career challenges paled in comparison to those his family faced. I knew my dad was sick. He got diagnosed with that pancreatic cancer, so coming through that and then my dad was getting like worse and worse. January 2nd he passed. That was all happening while I was trying to film this like don't count me out 20 years Mac Dog anniversary video part. You know I'd never seen JP show pain like he did then. He was more driven and more focused through his like gnarly stressful times with his dad and everything like he would pop in for a session get the gnarliest hammer and then just be like okay guys I gotta go it doesn't really get any more like pressure than that I guess you know and like I felt it for sure at the same time there was like something there was some fuel from all that as well kind of like well dude like I'm gonna show you guys Walker began the winter of 2009 differently than any that had come before it. First day JP shows up and he just locks into a switch backside 50-50 on the rail. I just noticed, I was like, he's just riding switch. And then he kind of told me, he was like, yeah, I'm thinking about just riding switch all year. And I started doing all this crazy stuff. Like I started like brushing my teeth with my left hand and I started eating sushi with my left hand and just all kinds of stuff to try to like mix it up. And because I was like, dude, I'm going to get into some uncomfortable situations. When this video sucks dropped in September 2009, snowboarders watched Walker's segment in awe. At 33 years old, he's still among the most innovative riders in the sport. In a movie of kids going both ways, he closed it out. Only switch tricks, like still had the sickest part. I've actually given quite a few kids a bunch of crap about that. I'm like, dude, 
guy's like over 30. JP's taking you guys out still. What's happening? Going through all that stuff, it made me realize more than ever that I love snowboarding. I love going on these trips and I love standing in the middle of some weird ass city trying to like jump down a handrail in the middle of the night. You know, and it's just funny. It's dope. It's like the sickest thing. Seeing him now, it's just, you know, my impression of him is just, he's the best that's ever been.